If you're a fan of the alternative rock band, The Cure, then you should check out these top, most interesting facts about the band. 1. The Cure are an alternative rock band. The band formed in Crawley, in West Sussex in 1976. The current lineup includes, Robert Smith, Simon Gallup, Roger O'Donnell, Jason Cooper and Reeves Gabrels. 2. The band originally started life as The Obelisk, with musicians and friends Robert Smith, Michael Dempsey, Lawrence Tolhurst, Mark Chicagno and Alan Hill. Chicagno, Dempsey and Smith later left to form the band, Malice. Smith, Dempsey and newcomer Porl Thompson formed Easy Cure. 3. Easy Cure won a talent show and as a prize received a recording contract. No tracks, however, were released. After Thompson left, Smith relabeled them The Cure. After distributing a demo tape, the band were signed to Fiction, through Polydor Records. Their debut single, Killing an Arab, received much controversy, even though it was based on novel The Stranger by Albert Camus. 4. Their debut album was Three Imaginary Boys in 1979. Boys Don't Cry, which was The Cure's second single, led to them supporting Susie and the Banshees on their promotional UK tour. After jumping the train, the third single, was released, Dempsey left. He was shortly after replaced by Simon Gallup and Matthew Hartley. The seven-inch single Cult Hero featured vocals from family, close friends and even their local postman. 5. A Forest from the album 17 Seconds was their first UK chart hit, peaking at 31. Hartley shortly left due to the band's suicidal, somber music. The Cure's third album Faith peaked the UK charts at 14. 6. During their following tours that year, Smith would often leave the stage with tears in his eyes, due to his persona and depth of the songs. The Love Cats reached 7 in the UK charts. The top album featured Smith playing all instruments, barring the drums. Smith, Tolhurst, Gallup and Williams became The Cure again, and released The Head on the Door. 7. Disintegration had a gothic atmosphere and sold over 3 million copies worldwide. In 1990, Just Like Heaven won the Brit Award for Best British Video. In 2002, The Cure headlined over 12 summer festivals. 2003 saw the band leave Fiction and join Geffen Records. 8. Marilyn Manson presented The Cure with the MTV Icon Award in 2004. In 2006, the band performed at the Royal Albert Hall on behalf of the Teenage Cancer Trust. In 2009, the band received the NME Award for Godlike Genius. 9. As of 2010, the band have been planning a new album with songs that were left over from the album 413 Dream. Smith's lyrical direction has been described as, gothic sadness, while licking sticky sweet cotton candy off lipstick-stained fingers. The band have influenced others such as Interpol and My Chemical Romance. 10. The Cure have recently headlined the 2012 Reading and Leeds Music Festival. Comedy show The Mighty Boosh paid homage to The Cure, by playing the song The Love Cats during the credits and creating, Goth Juice, the most powerful hairspray known to mankind. Made from the tears of Robert Smith. South Park has also paid homage as Cartman believes Disintegration to be, the best album ever. The Cure have also had their song titles made into films, including Boys Don't Cry, 1999, and Just Like Heaven, 2005.